Hello, my name is Michael Yudabrook, and I'd like to welcome you to our annual report for last year, 2020, for the Figure Landis Group Canada. So in retrospect, 2020 was a year of upheaval, of adjusting our established views of reality and of breaking patterns of what we once deemed as being normal. Indeed, it quickly became apparent that we were facing a very serious situation as the first news of the pandemic started to surface, followed by multiple reports from Billy and Ta. We quickly had to reinvent how we were going to proceed as a group, starting with the cancellation of our public meetings in Toronto and no longer being able to participate in the large health food show conventions, which we so look forward to. Instead, we now had to face the reality of no more in-person general assembly meetings, no more group peace meditations, not to mention the cancellation of the annual passive members meeting in May at the Simiasi Silver Star Center, and also our annual meeting here in Canada. Our monthly meetings would now be held on Google Meet, which on the positive side meant that some of us would no longer need to travel uh, two hours uh, down to Toronto to attend. However, on the downside, communication with internet uh, disruptions would need to be patiently endured. Uh, because we will no longer be making annual presentations at the Simiazi Silver Star Center in, in person, we have now prepared a simplified PowerPoint presentation. Here is a chronological overview of our activities for last year. On January 12th, we held our first public meeting of the new year at the Lillian Smith Public Library in Toronto. I presented a video entitled Catastrophic Events Threatening Humanity based on prophecies and predictions from uh, Billy Meyer followed by a PowerPoint presentation recommended health tips from the contact reports of Billy, part one. And this would be on vitamin C and vitamin D. Included in this presentation were a couple of useful charts, which people can refer to now just by pausing the video based on body weight, how much vitamin C one should take, for example. And also the same with vitamin D. On February 9th, 2020, we then held our still undenounced to us final public meeting. Our recommended health tips from the contact reports of Billy Meyer, part two, and this was on vitamin K and on zinc. Again, useful chart. We had scheduled a public meeting for March 15th, uh, featuring a coronavirus update with Michael and Gamma Interferon with Catherine Mossman, but unfortunately this event was canceled due to the unexpected rise in cases in Toronto and the subsequent closures of the public library. From this point on, it was clear that vital information pertaining to the exploding coronavirus pandemic was urgently needed to be shared all over the internet and on the figure sites. With that in mind, we created a coronavirus page that would link all of the figure translations on the topic. So there it is. On March uh, 29th, we released the first of three newsletters for 2020, followed by the others in July and November, which incidentally, um, we welcome anybody viewing this video to uh, submit some figure related articles for this newsletter. We'll review it and uh, possibly publish it. Uh, we do like to have this input from others. 
On April 14th, we released an e-booklet entitled The Search for the Truth, which offers a brief overview about Billy Meyer and Figu. which can be seen on our site. Regarding books for our uh, FLCA shop, in July, we released a newly updated version of Through Space and Time, a photo journal of Billy Edward Albert Meyer. And here I could be seen uh, receiving packing, stackings, some of these heavy, heavy boxes uh, a couple of days prior on July 8th in our shipping container book storage location. On October 14th, we added They Are Here by Francisco Villate and Christopher Locke to our FLCA shop, followed by Christian Frainer's new book, The Billy Meyer Case, True or a Hoax, on November 2nd. Ferdinand Cesaro continued to make figure books and information available through his design store in Toronto with his online shop and front door pickup service. About Flutal Energy, respectively Flutal Powers and other things, was projected to become available in early 2021, which of course everybody now knows it is readily available. In terms of sales, we saw a marked increase in interest from the previous year. Here is a chart of our book sales for 2020. As you can see, Arahat Ather Sata was the number one bookseller with 278 copies sold. Followed by Talmud Emanuel, the Psyche, etc. So, um, of course, we've been active uh, on social media. Uh, and over the course of 2020, we also added several new videos to our YouTube and BitChute channels that were produced by us as well as by others. Andreas Mitterdorfer was kind enough to submit three videos for inclusion on our channel. Trailer for the Arahat Ather Sata book, Nature is Speaking, I Am the Creation, and Birth Regulations Petition Against Overpopulation to the United Nations. From an article in Stimme der Wassermann Zeit entitled Die Liebe der Schöpfung, written by Akim Wolf, a video was produced and also submitted to us for inclusion on our YouTube channel. Peter Kladek from the Figure Landers Group Canada produced two new videos, Nocodamian Presentation, the newly revised version in August 2020, and the Billy Meyer case, True or Not True, the definitive judgment by Christian Freiner in November, both of which had been filmed by Peter the previous year at our public library public events in Toronto. Michael Uterbrook, myself, produced three videos. 2019 report for May 2020, the annual passive members meeting in Switzerland, the English version, coronavirus lockdowns and masks, and coronavirus part one, using the right masks. As of the end of 2020, we had 1,522 subscribers on our YouTube channel, and our videos had had over 30,000 views. Top videos that were viewed in that year, and this is the number of views for that year, was a destruction of the environment as a consequence of overpopulation, 
the older Nokodamian presentation and then the newly revised version, and then Christian Freiner's uh, presentation, followed by Erhat Athersata book trailer. Comparing the statistics of activity on our website, 2019 versus 2020, we see an overall increase in every criteria analyzed. For example, the information below shows that we had over 23,000 users versus 20,000 users from the previous year. So specific numbers there. Over the past year, there have been consistent efforts to further upgrade the property buildings and premises by the FCC Land Committee, that's the Figure Centre Committee, which is a committee of our Figure Landis Group Canada. And uh, this is an ongoing project that will inevitably continue for years to come. It was accessibility improvement with a front deck and stairs, creating a protective shelter for the electric air pump system, as well as drywalling, painting, electrical. Peter Kladek is very busy. Bucking logs, establishing a garden, shredding branches, and prepping the site for our new book storage container. That bottom picture. Here's a photo taken in February 2020 with some of the members of the Figure Landers Group Canada. Further goals for 2021 include, we would like to expand our book storage capabilities, continue publishing new book translations and expand our internet presence by bringing attention to important issues such as overpopulation, the coronavirus and the spiritual teaching. And finally, thank you and Salome.